Hello guys, so my name is Fox and welcome to part 11 of our Nurgalite campaign in Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer mod. Let's continue. So first of all I need to say that I'm a little bit sick right now, so I apologize if I'm gonna be coughing or sneezing a little bit more than usual. But yeah, <clears throat> in the previous episode we've been uh, doing what? We've been... Or we started conquest of this area uh, of little people who uh, got independent from uh, this guy, Cerasante. And we also started learning magic in the previous episode. It didn't really help much because I don't know what it gave me. I didn't really found much, but maybe in the future we're gonna get something uh, interesting. So yeah, uh, let's just continue conquering these all small guys. And then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do next. We might consider going for like uh, these uh, gnomes or someone else. And we also, what should we be doing is pillaging some more. That sounds like a great idea, so while we're conquering Delian, let's go and pillage Chavdar, and then we're probably gonna attack Chavdar right after we uh, burn down their holdings. It's actually also gonna... Uh, it's also gonna make it easier for me to conquer, so... I'm just gonna take as few troops as we need, because supply limit in here is just uh, garbage. Also, yeah, we have a holding... So we're not supposed to have, but we actually could probably pillage it again. Yes, we got 25 gold. Sounds great. And now it's gone. Awesome. And yeah, I'm still gonna be trying. Uh, I'm gonna be continuing uh, to revoke the titles from my tribal vassals because... Because this is, they <laughs> don't have the right to keep these holdings. And I need money for all the awesome stuff I'm uh, gonna be trying to do. Um... Uh, are the creatures returning reality and coming into your world, or are they a figment of your own imagination? So, because we're addicted, we're losing a stat again. This time it's Marshall. Okay. <clears throat> Not that terrible. And my son have a son who is brilliant. Awesome. That's just exactly what I've been trying to get by uh, by giving you this uh, wife. But actually, she's not brilliant, so you just got lucky, looks like. Mm. Okay, that's awesome. So, uh, when my son is going to inherit, we're going to have a brilliant guy as our next heir. So that's quite great. Also, apparently we have elephants. Oh yeah, I think... No, I've not, not been uh, hiring war elephants. Maybe this is, uh, this is how the uh, war beasts have been, uh, been shown in this mod. Talking about war beasts, could we afford to get any more armies? Not really, our manpower is... Kind of kept right now, and we're <clears throat> we're reinforcing all of these other armies. Learning magic is no tutor, nor organization of learning experts at your back is no easy task. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't look like some uh, it doesn't look like much happens. Your nightly studies of the movement of the celestial bodies are uh, increasing your knowledge of a great many things. So we're just getting hundred free military points. Okay, that's nice. We actually could spend it on something. I think I'm just gonna be bumping up military organization because most of the times it looks like a valuable or reasonable way to spend our points. Uh, we have a big claim, I don't really care. You know not exactly what you're doing, but you hope that you are cautious observation. Yeah, this is the same it's the same event. Oh! Okay, this time you got unlucky. A potion explodes right in the affair, slowly melting your skin off. I'm getting disfigured. Monthly prestige, diplomacy, health, personal combat skill, and attraction opinion. And 50% chance of me getting stressed. Uh, we also got stressed, god damn it. Hopefully Nurgle gonna help us. Actually, uh, we already was not that pretty, so disfigurement not gonna do it. Or not gonna do much. And yeah, our wife is completely hates us. Disfigured, gluttonous, addict, old, chosen of Nurgle, Nurgle's rot. Yeah. We're not the best of uh, husbands, looks like. Okay, we siege down this, and we got a human slaves. So what is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Oh, someone is trying to kill me? Oh, yeah. My wife is trying to kill me. Uh, you'd better stop. Is it because I got this disfigured? You stupid. Yeah, there's like all the women in realm now trying to kill me because I'm <laughs> too ugly for them. Oh my goodness. You'd better stop before I'm gonna 
execute all of you. Okay, I already sent you a request. Sieged you down, we burned you down, so let's go and... Uh, we'll just enforce demands like this, I don't know, maybe it's... Maybe it's gonna be better. Uh, okay, you just became our vassal, which is not that nice. <clears throat> but for now, actually, could we revoke your title right away? We probably couldn't, because we have a truce with you. So let's go and, let's go and for the province of Graf first. Revoke this title, then go for the other ones. Okay, I'm no longer stressed. That's nice. How's the plot? It got cancelled. Awesome. It's really nice. And we could ransom one person for 26 tickets. Sounds really great. Uh, oh, we could create a lot of titles. But it's not necessary. Uh, why couldn't we get a court priest? Maybe we just don't have a priest as a Nurgle? Or as a Nurgleite fate? What if I were to... In uh, scores land for a priest to join my court and advise me religious matters. Maybe I just need to invite one. Yeah, I actually could have a, a priest, okay. I'm just gonna sign you. You could proselytize, research tech, or improve religious religious relations. You don't really need to proselytize anything because all of these provinces automatically gets a Nurgalite when we're burning them down. So I guess you're just gonna be trying to research uh, tech in our capital, because why not? My concubine is pregnant, yay! And you ransom the person. Great. So, how about revoking your title now? Maybe. So, just in case, just in case he's gonna refuse, I'm gonna send all of my armies here, and we could stop improving the relations with this guy. Let's go and send our army to this clan, or not army, but our uh, chancellor to this clan and start improving with them. And yeah, we might consider start or might consider create some some extra clans in the future, somewhere like around here maybe, might be reasonable. But for now I'm just gonna be growing this one, because he only have 6 holdings when everyone else have 11. And it's a little bit unfair to him. Okay, uh, how about giving me your holdings? Uh, I hope I actually revoked it properly and my nomad was not gonna care. But I think they shouldn't, because this guy is tribal, so... Okay, you just accepted, good job. And now I could pillage you, sure. And now we need to give away one of the holdings, so let's go and give... Uh, what, I guess Skutar to this guy? Uh, not revoke, you're gonna receive Skutare. Now you're happy. And yeah, let's go and take Chavdar now. Uh, also, this guy changed changed his name, looks like. Probably because something like, what's Rebellion? You uh, won for Rebellion? That's possible. So, you now have 6,000 troops, plus you have tons of vassals, who probably also have some uh, troops. So, I'm not really gonna be able to... I take you that easily. Working in the observatory lately, you are often frustrated by broken equipment, weeks on end of cloudy weather and frequent interruptions. Okay. 30% chance getting diligent, 10% uh, getting stressed. Sure. And we became diligent. Awesome. Look at all of our stats, we're so damn nice. And even though we're so damn good, we're still terrible at personal combat. Because of all of these illnesses. I think for a Nurgalite... For a Nurgalite guy, this actually should be tweaked a little bit. Because we're gonna have all the diseases, like no matter what, and if we were to get caught on the combat, we're just gonna be dead. And it doesn't seem proper. Uh, a false sorcerer has come to your lands, claiming to have had visions of future victories from the gods. The wandering traveler is willing to settle in your court in exchange for a meager price. How much money do you need? We only have 100 ducats and we unfortunately couldn't... Pay. That's unfortunate. Uh, and my daughter requires education. Okay, let's go and give you so uh, to someone with like diplomacy. Yeah, sure. My marshal and my vassal. Uh, that would be quite nice. So you're gonna take Chavdar. Probably don't have any armies because I burned down your holding. So let's just go and declare unholy subjugation as always. Send this thousand here, and you guys should uh, could just sit here. Actually, we could as well. 
Oh yeah, that's the way I thought about uh, about attacking this Sozanate guy is uh, try to pillage his uh, holdings and use the pillagers to destroy his armies. And then, no, 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 no. Uh, and then uh, when we're gonna kill his army, just go and uh, conquer him because it would be a little bit a little bit smarter. So why don't we go and start pillaging? A son was born to me. This one is bright. Also, we have an army in here. Army of Sozanate. 5,000, actually. Their army is right there, and if I were to engage with my... With my 5,000, I'm actually gonna get screwed, so... <laughs> let's not do this. My wife, Tola, tells me she's pregnant, but she can't be. Oh well. She hates me, so... She might as well cheat on me. Uh, okay, now our son needs education. This one is tough. I was gonna try to give you to someone with high marshal. Oh, this guy have a lot of... This guy is pretty damn great. You're a champion of Nurgal. Whoa. Interesting. What is that? This character is a champion of Nurgal. A repulsive portrait character that used to be a mortal... A uh, immortal. Nurgal has twisted this character's body to the point where the very ground reveals the champion's presence. Uh, but it's not all bad for Nurgal has blessed this character with extreme resilience to this and wounds, making this character a juggernaut on the field of battle. 10 health, a lot of stats, a lot of combat, same trait opinion. Okay, that's really cool. Sure, you're gonna be educating all my children. How you uh, received this trait, I wonder? So, my marshal, one of these vassals, or uh, the guy in this clan, okay. Yeah, that's really great. So champion of Nargal and I am chosen of Nargal. I get even more HP. So champion of Nargal is probably like one uh, one tier down from what I have. I have thought it over and I cannot be sure. I cannot be the father of this baby. I don't care. <clears throat> Taking a few spoonful of dust is just <laughs> what you need to call yourself. Okay, so we're no longer paranoid. It's not that great. Learn magic with no tutor, an organization, something, something. Oh, I need to buy more books and materials so I could spend ducats on this. Yeah, sure. If, if it's gonna increase my chances of getting something nice, I would be really happy. The more your personal about increase inside, the higher the chances of unlocking your true magical potential. But you've still a long way go, uh, to go. Okay, so... Looks like for these events, uh, to be a little bit more... Uh, have higher chances of succession or su succeeding, I probably need a lot of gold. So, uh, talking about gold, we also have slaves, human slaves. So, let's go and sell them right away because I don't think I could use them for anything better right now. <clears throat> also, we could. Oh, we're allied to this girl somehow. Okay, that's cool. But I don't really need you in my war. Uh, your studies of celestial spheres are progressing well. You see movement and relations, relationships that you had never dared guess at. Gain one learning and extra military points. Awesome. And now you're calling me into the war. Sure. Not gonna help you, but I'm gonna join because I'm a trustworthy ally. For sure. Uh, I'm getting twitchy again. Yeah, that's not a surprise, really. Any chance my son gonna become chosen of Norgal or maybe a champion or something? Yeah, he's pretty terrible, to be honest. Oh well. I don't know how long this character would be able to live, because if he has plus 20, H, uh, plus 20 health, I would assume it should prolong his life for at least, like, I don't know, 200 years? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, there goes you. And we should have no more uh, truce with this Delvan guy, so I think I'm just gonna go and revel or revoke his title. <coughs> okay, great. <coughs> oh my goodness in my voice and we're gonna burn it down and give another one holding to this clan uh this time you're gonna receive what i guess quernildom or something uh quernildom yeah i hope you're happy okay so we finished with the small guys so what about sozanate let's go and combine our armies he have what, a Looney clan? Caesar Knight clan? Mm. So, in total, you have in here more armies than I could provide, so I couldn't even 
engage you with the pillagers right now. That's really unfortunate. Could I b build any more armies? I think I could if I were to... If I were to let my manpower replenish. Maximum manpower. Current population... Something, something. Why is it not showing me how much maximum manpower I have? And no. Yeah, I think we just need to wait a little bit. Uh, try not to spend our manpower and let it grow. And try to increase the size of our army so, so we're gonna be able to uh, attack Sozanite. Okay, we could spend some extra ducats on our magic books, so I'm gonna be doing this. Mm, anyone else we could have taken here who is a little bit weaker? Like Dogon, maybe? You have 2,000 troops. Yeah, I think we could... We could handle you. Or just dwarves. 3.7 thousands. Talking about dwarves, you probably need to go and try to burn down some of their holdings again. So yeah, let's go and move this direction. The more your personal laboratory increases in size, the higher chances of unlocking true magic potential. Okay. Uh, and we got a daughter. Ooh, what's up with this one? She's ugly, she's dim, and she's soft. Ooh, yeah. Not the best one. Not the best one at all. So, probably gonna take Dolgan for this one provinces. For this one province, and also try to burn down gnomes in here. See what kind of uh, what kind of loot or slaves you could get uh, from there. You are sure you have uh, made a breakthrough in your studies? Yes, it's gonna be otherwise. The Earth is round and it revolves around this, and it revolves around the sun. How will we know of the universe? Cool. So I could get prestige. Get scholar, but everyone's opinion of me gonna drop. Must publish. I will continue my studies in secret. I could get a uh, scholar, but no one gonna hate me. Uh, yeah, I will continue my studies. Sure. Just getting a free, free learning. Why not? Mm, excuse me. Also, maybe, maybe the higher my learning is, the uh, higher my chances of uh, learning magic because it might be reasonable. Okay, my Chancellor improving relations even more with all of these clans. That's really nice. Really nice of him. Uh, okay. My goodness, you're, are you gonna be improving it like every month? Because that would be really awesome. Uh, okay, so let's go on. How much supply we have in here? Eight in here, eight in there. So I'm just gonna split these armies in half. Uh, one gonna go to gnomes, one gonna go to truck, or oh, to. What's your name? Dolgan. Uh, well, first of all, burn the as this holdings, and then we're probably gonna declare oh, <coughs> declare conquest on Dolgan. The third war against tyranny of Kinvalka has ended. Okay, I don't care. Uh, also, could we upgrade our holdings? We could, but we would need to spend money on that. Hmm, it's really not uh, not great. Clan sentiment. Garrison size, horse archer offense, light cavalry, heavy cavalry, horse archers. Sure, let's build horse, horse breeders. It's only third docket, so it's not that much. Oh, and this in cavalry has been, been burned down not that long time ago. So we just got human slaves in like one second. Awesome, I like it. Let's go and uh, sell them right away. Okay, and I need to spend more money, sure. I want to learn magic pretty damn badly. We already spent like, how much? 200 ducats on that? So maybe it's gonna pay out soon. The more your personal board increases the size, yeah, the same, uh, the same event. And here we got more human slaves, great. More money. Uh, okay, now leave. And then we're gonna declare a war on this guy. And I think we're gonna be trying to actually avoid avoid attacking the Sozanite clan for now, because he seems a little bit too powerful for me, so we're just gonna expand in like Dolgon, attack these gnomes, and maybe go here for now. Because this guy seems uh, seem a little bit weaker. And a little bit better target. Fear has loosened its grip on me, and I st uh, stand tall against the things I used to fear. Okay. I'm not gonna craven. Awesome. The word from the priests are clear, the moment the means of chaos are very weak. And I'm getting my stat back from uh from narcotics. 
And yeah, we just got Marshall back. Awesome. Uh, but actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue our war against... Uh, or not continue, we're gonna start our war against Dolgan in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.